This is the Joey Jones Show, brought to you by Mugshot's Grill and Bar. Okay. And here we go, the Joey Jones Show, presented for Mugshot's Grill and Bar on Airport Boulevard. Pat Greenwood, along with head coach Joey Jones. And uh, coach, we'll look ahead to tonight's game in just a second. But first of all, two comfortable wins in a row, man. What's going on? We we're able to breathe in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's a nice change. <laughs> I'll take it. Anytime uh, the players want to give us that, I I'm really proud of our players, the way they've been playing the last couple of weeks, I mean, we've, we've, uh, we're playing at a higher level now. And uh, I thought, like I've talked to you about before, we've, we've played really good football this year. Um, we're, we're leading the conference and least amount of penalties. You know, we talked about turnovers, how well right. we're doing, doing so many good things. And, um, but now we're kind of controlling the game in, in the last two weeks. And that's been great. You know, Monroe team is very, very gifted, very talented. Uh, we kind of controlled them with Georgia State, and they've been playing great in the previous weeks. They right. had Arkansas State 35-33, almost beat them, and and uh, almost beat Troy. And you know they were really playing good football. So I thought our guys went out and played really well, and, and really in all three phases. Yeah, I kind of see it as we're learning how to win. Right. You, know, you, you can win, but there's a difference between winning and learning how to win. And I kind of think we're getting to that stage. Is that yeah, accurate? I, I think so. And learn how to play to your highest level, no matter what the circumstance yeah. is. I think that. I think early in the year we're and we're we're a program trying to grow and all, but uh, I think we're just kind of playing just good enough. You know, we're, whatever the level of our competition was, we're playing at that level, and now I think we've stepped it up another notch and. We're playing as good as we can play regardless of who we're playing. Absolutely. Well, let's take you to the Georgia Dome and show you what happened last Saturday as we took on Georgia State. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's our last road game of the season. We jumped out in front and we stayed out in front. First quarter, watch Jay Jones with this nice 22-yard run. Follows that with a five-yard touchdown run. And for Jay, four runs, 38 yards on that drive alone. And that's a huge jolt for that offense, isn't it? It really was. And uh, just, I thought we came out uh, with the guns blazing and really executed well early. Absolutely. Able to establish that ground game early. It opens up everything the rest of the way. Now, the defense did their job. Enrique Williams forcing the fumble right here. Malik Harris able to jump on it. We've got the ball going back the other way again, and that leads to a four-play, 42-yard drive. And who do you give it to? Well, of course, the guy that's got the hot hand, Jay Jones, 17 yards out, 14-0 South Alabama. Jags, uh, Jay, I should say, 102 yards on the ground, and look how high he gets up right there. That's a pretty, <laughs> pretty high for, for the little man, huh? That's right. More, more turnovers, no problem. Ramel Jones forcing this one. We're up two touchdowns as the first quarter comes to a close. Now, 14-3 when we get it going again. Ross Matheny finds Jeremy Jones, 24 yards across the middle. Nice pitch and catch there that gets us down to the Georgia State 12-yard line. And then Ross going up and over, able to punch it in from there. It's 21-3 South Alabama. And at that point, defensively, we can start pinning our ears back a little bit. You get, take yeah. more chances defensively, right? Yeah, they probably started trying to throw the ball a little bit more in that, that situation. And I think that played right into our hands. Absolutely. It's a 24-3 opening drive to the third quarter. We do not let up. How about this perfect pass from Ross to Chavarez? Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Oh, a great pass and a great adjustment to the ball. I think Chavarez has really made a lot of great catches. That's pretty, been pretty obvious, but he's made so many great catches this year. Probably more than anybody ever seen in one year. Absolutely. So 31 to 10, we're hungry for more. Again, Ross to Smith, 10 catches, ties a school record, 194 yards, sets a new school record. And then Jay Jones adding to his total with 15 more yards there on the ground. And Kendall Houston able to finish it off, make it 38-10 here. And nice to see Kendall get into the end zone as well. Oh yeah, Kendall's he, he's he's a great running back, especially inside the box, and he just. You know, he weighs about 220 pounds. They're always able to break tackles down there. Yeah, absolutely. Nine sacks against Louisiana Monroe. We were able to get four against Georgia State. And your final score, South Alabama wins at 38-17. to And we talked about how Georgia State, yes, zero wins. We understand yeah. that. But had been playing uh, very good football, at least, uh, you know, very close football with other teams. And to be able to set the tone, keep the tone, and, and even elevate it through the game, that's what you want as this team progresses. That's right. And we, we talked all week long about how they, they were going to be ready to play. Uh, felt like that, um, you know, senior day for those guys, and they've been, they almost beat Arkansas State, and we talked about that earlier. They, they were really playing good football. They were going to be at home again. And I thought, man, that, these guys are going to be ready to go. So we really got our players ready to play. And I, I thought it came out. And once, once we got to about that 21-3 mark, I think it was uh, – Pretty much our game. And able to get some young guys into the game as well, some guys that don't get to see as much playing time, right? Yeah, that was Before good. Game. It's good to always do it. You want to play everybody as a coach. I mean, I really want to get everybody on the field. Obviously, this year, all the close games we've had, we hadn't been able to get as many guys on the field. But late in the game, boy, we had some guys come in there and play and run the football and get on the offensive line, defense, or whatever. All right, so season finale tonight against Louisiana Lafayette. That's at home, 7 o'clock start at Ladd Peebles Stadium. We'll talk a lot about the Ragin' Cajuns coming up in just a couple of minutes. Right now, let's do a little South Alabama trivia. And we held Georgia State to 24 yards rushing. That is not a school record. So what is the record for fewest yards allowed in a game? 
We will talk about it when we get back.